Hey, fantastic folks, I'm Amanda Pashuko. Today I'm bringing you juicy tips on how to turbocharge your relationship. Hit subscribe and like, and hit the alarm. Now, when you hear negotiations, I bet you're thinking about the boardroom or business casual. That's not really what I mean here. Today we're flipping the script and talking about relationships and how to negotiate for a win-win. This is going to be the secret ingredient to the relationships that you want. So why prioritize your values with someone else to begin with? Value-based negotiations are actually what gives us the life we want. It's a life that we don't need to vacation from. Matching your relationships and your interactions with your values is where the magic of life begins. So ask yourself, what are my values? Efficiency, accountability, ease, excellence, and then from here, what type of agreements do I wanna negotiate with my partner, with my family? I want my values to guide my life versus having my values dictate how other people ought to behave around me. So if I know my values and I can line those up with my work, with my spouse, with my friends, we're gonna have a life that really works. I like seeing multiple ways to negotiate. When we're in a partnership, we wanna find ways to balance both of our needs. Failure to do this is going to cause great pain and distress in that relationship. And if you don't have the same values in the same order, it might be that you two aren't matched in the same way, not shaming or blaming anyone, but the fact is that you prioritize things differently. In negotiation, it's important to trust that the other person is telling you the truth. Then from there, we can each respond based on that transparency. So first of all, know your values. Think of your values like a GPS system of where you're going in your life. Be sure to express your values clearly. If they're not clear, people are not going to understand. You could know your values, but you must express them in an adult-like way. That is the next most important thing. What are your favorite ways to express clearly? Now, I'm just gonna share a little story from the exciting couples that I work with. Sometimes it's really important to be able to express your values to one another. If you don't do this, then you're not going to get the type of family, the type of traditions, the type of life that you really say you want. I've had couples who are on the verge of splitting, but we decide to write a values list and their values line up and we see that there are things we could do. It feels hopeless until we wrote out all the values and negotiated through them and collaborated, but they're still together today. So that is just one example of how value-based negotiation techniques give you the magic that you want in your life. And practice and have patience. Like any skill, it's going to take repetition. First, you have to imagine it, then you have to do it. It's not a habit yet. You have to make it a habit so it becomes a routine. There are a lot of steps to that. So practice and patience is necessary to get the results that we want in interpersonal relationship dynamics. If you want more information about what to do with your partner once your values align, get the sensation guide, relationship rock stars, hit like, subscribe, and the bell. Forward this to a friend or a partner if you think it could be helpful. I love your comments and questions. Say hi on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and X, Twitter, at The Sex Healer or Amanda Pashuko. See you next time. Thanks for watching.